Hi, today's video lecture I will explain you how to select a proper resistance value to operate any LED light. Even I will explain you how to operate the optocouplers LEDs which you are using for the designing of power supplies. And if we are choosing improper resistance value then what will happen you will face some problems like either intensity is very low or very high and maybe because of very high maybe your LED light will get damaged easily after some time. So with the help of if we are using different different kinds of input voltage to operate the LED then this lecture is very important for you. I will explain you step by step this selection of the resistance. So you be in the video lecture till end. So friends, first we will draw LED supply and resistance circuit so that we can do the calculations. So first I will take with 12 volt supply we have as an input. So I will make one battery and then register which we want to find it out and then one LED this supply voltage is we are considering 12 volt and this is the LED and this is the indication for the LED LED is glowing and we have to find this R value. Now this is the circuitry. So before doing the calculation I will show you the data sheet of the LED and we will find the sum of the parameter for this LED. So here I will choose I have chosen this is the uh, SMD type of LED. So this LED if you see Here some parameters is given. So DC forward current here 25 milliampere and this is the maximum absolute value. So we should not cross this value otherwise my LED will get damage. So if you see optical characteristic so they operated for assume that 25 degrees Celsius is the temperature then forward current through the LED is 20 milliamps. So this they have tested and if you see the electrical characteristic so in the electrical parameter the 20 degree 25 degree Celsius temperature the forward current is 20 milliampere and the minimum forward voltage of LED is 1.6 and maximum is 2.6. So this two value will find out and we will operate some typical value between these two value. So I will assume V LED voltage is V LED voltage V LED through which LED is operating. So I will take 2 volt so that it should not be very minimum and it should not be very maximum to burn the LED ok. Now I will show you one more parameter if you see here the forward current voltage versus forward voltage the graph is given for the LED. So we have assumed 2 volt so 2 volt is approximately here something this place and the current value we have taken 20 milliamps so 20 milliamps is this line so we can operate because the minimum is 1.6 so 1.6 here so and maximum is 2 point something so this value we can assume take here also and we can take 1.8 also but I am taking 2 
so now one more thing and one more graph is given here this one here they have given the relation between led forward current versus intensity brightness you can say okay brightness so if we are operating current is 20 milliampere at this current then the intensity is about here if you see here may be about 1 so this is very high intensity we can operate but 25 milliampere is the dangerous here that LED can damage because the maximum current LED can handle 25 milliampere so we will not go this much value we can operate here because they have tested on 20 milliampere forward current but we can reduce this value to here also because in this condition the LED will brightness is very high so we will if you do, don't want that much high intensity then you can operate on 10 milliampere so at 10 milliampere if you see the intensity intensity may be approximately 0.5 to 0.6 something is there so this is the our two operating current either this or either this okay so these two parameter will note down and will go now i will show you the calculations so here how we do will do the calculation our input voltage whatever voltage you want you can choose this so first we will assume the led voltage so v led voltage will take 2 volt since we have defined it is minimum is 1.6 volt and maximum is 2.6 volt dc this is led forward voltage now one more parameter that current maximum we will calculate 20 milliampere that is 0 0.02 ampere and minimum current we will take for the intensity we will take 10 milliampere so for the 10 milliampere it is 0 0.1 ampere so i is one is maximum one is minimum value so this i is flowing through the led and since resistance and led are connected in series so same current will flow from resistance and led so this is the i okay now based on this parameters we will calculate the value of resistance so resistance how we will calculate we will make the formula so current first we will find out current i is equal to source voltage so i will write this is source voltage vs okay so source voltage vs in our case it is a 12 volt so i am just making the formula vs minus v led led divided by resistance r okay so this is the formula this is the formula so now we will put the all the values and we'll find out the r because i we know v v v s will know v led will know only this is the unknown so r how we can write r is equal to v s minus v l e d divided by i and v s is 12 volt in our case and v led is 2 volt then i i we will select if we are taking 20 milliampere or 10 milliampere so first we will calculate for 20 milliampere so for the 20 milliampere we will put the value 
and we will find out. So, first we will calculate the value this is 10 divided by i. So, our total formula is r is equal to 10 by i. Correct? Now, if i is we taken 20 milliampere, then r is equal to 10 divided by 20 and 20 we can write 0 0.02 0 0.02 and then if we calculate this value we will get 500 ohm so r is 500 ohm for maximum brightness so we got the value of r is equal to 500 ohm but here we have to find out the power value of r also so what is the power rating because any resistance we are going to select then we have to see it should not much heat when the current is flowing otherwise it will burn and led will not glow so we have to select the proper power rating of the resistance so how we will calculate the power so power